The Levitt Lift. This exercise is a great way to actually eradicate low back pain. And the reason for this quite simply is it takes control of the back of your hamstrings, which takes back control of your pelvis, which decompresses your lower back. This exercise is absolutely brilliant for that. However, it's quite technical in the way that we teach it because we need you to be really relaxed. And it's really crucial for, you, for at home for you to realize this. You need to be relaxed in the lower back and in the tummy muscles. We don't want any muscles to work other than the hamstrings throughout this exercise until we add the breathing on top. So if Ollie gets set up, when you're at home, if you use a, ch a chair or a firm surface that is roughly anywhere between 30 to 45 centimeters in height, that's absolutely perfect. What you then need to do is take a, t a couple of roll towels, a pillow that's folded in half or a really thick book, place it between your knees and give it a gentle squeeze. This is all crucial in the setup. One thing at home to always, the easiest way of remembering, have I got this right, is to think, are my knees on top of my hips and do I roughly have a 90 degree angle here and a right, uh, roughly a 90 degree angle at the knees as well. Keep your toes up and then from here, I'm gonna ask Ollie to remember to be relaxed. So the way we teach it here at tier one is to imagine that you're wearing a belt buckle or a belt and everything above that belt line is totally relaxed. So Ollie's now got a jelly belly, sorry Ollie, no pun intended, a relaxed lower back relaxed chest, relaxed arms. And all I'm gonna do is ask Ollie to initially just pop his hands on his tummy, just to make sure that he can feel that he's relaxed throughout this exercise. So Ollie's now relaxed, he's got the 90 degree angle here, he's got the 90 degree angle here, his toes are up and he's squeezing, he's good to go. Now the cues for this exercise are really to get your heels to go down. So I want Ollie to imagine that he's pulling his heels down through that chair now. So through and down that through that chair. He's gonna stay relaxed in his lower back. He's gonna squeeze the towel as he pulls his heels down and he's gonna bring his knees up into my fingers. And on the video, you should notice that Ollie's pelvis has naturally, as a result of this, peeled off of the floor and rolled up to face him at the front. And that's really crucial because if Ollie, if Ollie does it a good one again for me, nice and relaxed, that pelvis peels up and rolls up and Ollie will give me a nod that he can feel the backs of his legs i.e. his hamstrings working. That is the right and correct way to do this exercise. The wrong way is for Ollie to not be relaxed in his lower back and not be relaxed in his tummy muscles and he'll actually look to drive up and obviously there he's te that's telling me he's using his lower back which means we can't effectively decompress it. So one more good one Ollie for me. So nice and relaxed, heels down, knees up for me, a little squeeze of the towel. Do you feel your hamstrings? Yeah. Excellent. All we need to do now is add some breathing on top. So what I want Ollie to do now is a little reach for me. So just a gentle reach. And he's gonna take a full inhale through his nose and get all of the air out through his mouth. Good work. Do you still feel your hamstrings, Ollie? Great. Okay, with every, every, every exhale now, I want you to think about reminding yourself to pull your knee, uh, heels down, squeeze the towel and a gentle reach and five full exhales is enough. Have a little break and repeat, and that's an effective way to take back control of your pelvis and decompress your lower back. Well done, Ollie.